Hey folks, this is Rack James from ORS Racks Direct in Vermont. Right now I'm gonna show you the Yakima two-timer hitch mounted platform style bike rack. Platform style bike racks can be pretty expensive. This one is kind of stripped down to be affordable and you get the benefits of the easy loading and unloading of a platform versus a hanging style. But let's take a look at it right now. We have it mounted on this Tundra with a two inch hitch. Um, the two-timer can adapt to both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. Um, the four-timer, which carries four bikes, is only compatible with two inch hitches. But the two-timer can work on either inch and a quarter or as it's mounted on this Tundra, a two inch hitch. Okay, now, <clears throat> as far as loading the bikes, let's take a look at how this works. So, first step is to drop it down into loading position. Right now we've got it in stow position. This is when you aren't carrying bikes, so it keeps the platform out of the way. Good for parallel parking, backing into the garage. Just gets it out of the way, you know, shortens the length of the vehicle. But when you're loading bikes, you do two things. First off, you remove this safety pin right here. Let it just hang by its tether. And then you've got this knob. And this is a knob that you use to uh, move the platform between the three separate positions. So this is position one, stowed position. Pull that out, drop it down to loading position. And then there's a third position, which is a tilt down position. And that will enable you to open tailgates and hash doors on certain vehicles while the bikes are still loaded. All right, so we're gonna load bikes, we're gonna pop it up into loading position, and then we're gonna put this safety pin back into place, much like that. All right, and then we're gonna raise the mast, pull this little red knob right here. This guy comes up and locks into place, and that's what has our frame hooks that slide up and down uh, to secure the bike into place. Um, the wheel cradles, we're gonna open them up. Um, take a quick look at this wheel cradle. First of all, you'll notice that it can accommodate, it's nice and wide for a fat bike tire, and it also has this narrower trough for like a road bike or a hybrid. So it has a very wide range of bikes it can accommodate. Um, the straps that come with the uh, two-timer are set up for like a standard mountain bike. If you want to carry a fat bike, you got to buy the fat straps, which are sold separately, and they're just a longer version. So we're gonna put a fat bike on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out. It's just a matter of dropping the original strap out of there and the new strap in until it clicks into place. And another thing I should point out that's kind of cool, built into these wheel cradles, there's, there are two slots for the strap. The inside slot is for the strap to come through. The outside slot is this nice little convenient place to stick the slack of the strap for loading and unloading. You know, much, much easier than the alternative, which is just to leave them up like that, and then you gotta kinda try to, you know, work the, the wheel through the strap. So this just gets them out of the way. It's pretty convenient. So we're gonna do that on all of these so that it's ready to uh, take the bikes. Now, if you take another quick look, you'll notice that the wheel cradles are mounted on um, this beam, and they can be adjusted along the length of it. So you can adjust for the different lengths of different wheelbases between uh, bicycles. Um, and also you can offset the bikes to you know one side or the other to avoid contact between the handlebar and the saddle. So we have two bikes we're gonna load and we have moved these trays as far to the left as possible and we've moved these trays as far to the right as possible and that is going to hopefully avoid contact between the handlebar and the seat of each bike. So let's see if that works. All right, so when you're ready to load, you can slide these wheel hooks all the way to the top of the mast just to get them out of the way. We're gonna load this uh, standard mountain bike first. And the way to load the back bike, um, you know, unfortunately you can't magically pass through this post and it does need to be raised to load. Um, so you, you kind of, what I do is just wheel the bike as far uh, as I can and then just pick it up by the top tube and just kind of roll it forward into the wheel tray just like that and then it'll just you know naturally it might just sort of settle down it won't be tight enough but it'll kind of secure so you can let go and then adjust the wheel straps and uh, again these wheel straps are for a regular mountain bike so I didn't need to uh, switch those out but you'll see how the longer straps are required for a fat bike and once those are ratcheted down just enough to remove any play between the rim, um, then I, you know, give it maybe one more little click and you'll see that's nice and stable, not going anywhere. Alternate the direction and let's see if we uh, are going to have any interference. Now the only interference, you, the other interference that you kind of have to figure out is the pedals. Um, and I think that's going to work. Yeah, get those up there. 
Yeah, so you can, you know, set the pedal so that it clears. There we go. Drop that down. And you'll see that the seat and the handlebars are missing each other, and that's exactly what we wanted. No contact. Beautiful. All right, now we can ratchet the wheel strap for the fat bike. These nice long wheel straps work on this 4.6 inch fat bike tire. And again, you know, once those are in place, you can kind of give that wheel hook an extra click down and everything is nice and secure. Now, you'll notice there is a little bit of, a little bit of wobble. Um, it's really nothing to be concerned about, but Yakima does provide this accessory strap right here. And you can use this accessory strap to run between the two bike frames. Um, you know, you can go around like the fork over here, maybe come through, uh, I would say you want to get like the stay, maybe something like this. You know, you can figure out, depending on the two bikes that you're loading, the best way to basically strap those together. And it kind of pulls them tight against that upright to just add further security. So, you know, if you're doing a short road trip, you know, you might not bother, but if you're going on a long, you know, multi-hour road trip, um, it might not be a bad idea to just, uh, you know, get that extra strapping security. Um, and then, as far as locking the bikes, the accessory that you want to consider is the nine-foot cable lock. And the way that this works, there is a little D-ring welded on the inside of the stinger and that you can use to thread the cable through. So I'm going to pull off this lock housing first of all. I'm going to run that through the D-ring. Whoops. Oh, I'm going to run that through the D-ring and then through the loop on the cable so that's snug. And then you can run the cable through the bike frames. And then I would uh, put that on there like that at this point and, you know, secure it to the uh, outside bike and lock it into place. So now they're locked via a cable and the hitch itself is also locked. Once again, this is a Yakima two-timer hitch mounted platform style bike rack uh, mounted on a two inch hitch. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, check back with us soon. I'm Rack James from Ores Racks Direct.